you can find an overview of all my videos at www.genesispc.com and you click on the button videos on YouTube and you get a complete listing of all the videos I created for you on Excel and VB script tips. It's a rich source of all kind of tricks and tools you need. We are going to create a VB script that opens a web page and refreshes it automatically every five seconds. For instance, because it's a web page that renews all the time, like the NASDAQ index. Uh, the advantage of VB script is that it's a very simple language, basically close to VBA for Excel or Access, and all you need is a Windows environment. And then you can run that code and you can even assign a shortcut. I did that already. I assigned the shortcut Control Shift A and that opens automatically the NASDAQ web page and then refreshes it every five seconds. I'm closing that screen. All you need is Notepad. So all we have to do now is get the code type written in Notepad. And this is going to be the code that we are writing. You will recognize a lot if you know VBA. On error resume next. Then we create an instance of Internet Explorer. And we capture that with the variable O. I use that for object Internet Explorer. Then we, nav we use that object to navigate to the NASDAQ page. And we make sure that Internet Explorer becomes visible. So we set that property to true. Then we use from VB script the, the W script object. And we use its sleep subroutine. And we wait five seconds. The single apostrophe is just for comment. So these are milliseconds. So 5000 is five seconds. Then we create a document of Internet Explorer and we capture it with the variable odoc. And then we do a do loop. Do loop. We sleep each time and we refresh, let's say, every five seconds or ten seconds. So here we are saying refresh every 10 minutes, every 10 seconds. Then we reload every 10 seconds. The location reload true. True means that we reload it from the server and not from what, what you have on your machine stored for a moment. If there is an error, that means the error is not zero, then we quit W script. For instance, when the browser is closed by the user. And then we set that variable to nothing. And we close with and if. That is the simple code. Uh, please be careful that no typos in there, for you will get in trouble. You have to be very precise in your typing. There is nothing that checks your typing. And then we are going to create an icon with a shortcut key. I told you here how to do that. I'm going to actually do it. The only thing before we are going to do it is make sure that you save that file. So you usually go to File, Save As or Save. And make sure that you save as all types. Otherwise it will add the TXT extension. I call it Refresh Web and then you have to give the extension VBS, VB script. So I can close that file. Then I go to my Internet Explorer. Okay. And I say to that file, Refresh Web VBS, send to the desktop and create a shortcut. I had done that already. So here is the shortcut. Go to its properties and set the shortcut key to Control Shift A or R or whatever you decide. And there is your web page. 
and it will automatically refresh every 10 seconds, as you see it happening here, depending on how quick your internet access is. If you want to know more about VB Script, I would recommend that you buy this CD-ROM. It has an enormous selection of issues. How do you make loops, arrays? You can work with Access, you can work with Excel, you can work with web pages and with Microsoft Outlook. As I said already, you can find that CD-ROM at MrExcel.com or at GenesisPC.com or at Amazon.com.